guys, what's going on? It is Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. And today I have a first time guest on voice, none other than Gator Shot, the Clash Royale streamer out there. Gator, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for having me on. Uh, thank you for coming on. Today we're going to share a Mega Knight Hog Freeze deck, which I don't think I've ever shared on the channel before. I've shared Mega Knight Hog or Hog Freeze, but you put them all together and you have some, some Zap Bait. You guys can see the deck right here. It's it's really cool because you, you, a lot of, you know, a few different kind of themes that we see in Hog decks or Mega Knight decks all going on at once. So Log Bait uh, with the Dark Goblin, the Princess, and the Goblin Gang. Zap Bait with the Bats and the Skarmy. And of course... Uh, uh, we have the Hog Freeze and Mega Knight. So tell us a little bit about about this deck and, and why you like it so much, man. Uh, well, I like it because it's um, it's very high pressure. You can always punish people if they uh, maybe use their only spells. So early in the game, I try to identify what spells they're using. And if I see that they're probably uh, not, they don't have Zap, for example, then I can punish them if they waste their Bar Barrel or something like that. And this deck, like, it's, it's very like high risk, but high reward. Because if you, for example, go in for a hog freeze and you get a pretty valuable freeze, hopefully your support units can take out these support troops because yeah. otherwise they can counterattack. But you have to be a bit smart with that. But I can go through it as I, as I play a bit more live here. Um, Fantastic. Maybe show man. some examples. So yeah, yeah. Let, let's do it. Let's hop in live. And as we do, like, tell us a little bit about you and your background. How long you've been playing? When did you realize you were good? How long you've been streaming? Stuff like that. Uh, I've been playing since pretty much be uh, beta. Uh, I took a pretty long break. Um, uh, in the beginning of maybe 2018 or 2017 in the middle somewhere there uh, i was away for about like almost like seven eight months probably because i had lost a bit of interest in the game because it wasn't too much happening and i was underage to compete in live events so i really didn't have anything to practice for i felt and therefore it wasn't worth putting in the time for I actually found a game here perfect so cool yeah but um, now you feel differently, well, I mean, yeah. or no? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 did, I did. I I came back to the game because I became. I began streaming. I'd been doing some YouTube before. Yeah. Um. But so I decided to start streaming, and then people had heard about my previous experiences as a Clash Royale player, and they like forced me to start playing again. And then I found uh, the interest that I had. Um, yeah, once before, and since then cool, I've man. just been. I've been playing even more, and since I turned 16 um, in 2018, I was also. Uh, it was also possible for me, I felt like you overcommitted a bit here, so I'm going to go for bats onto this. Maybe yeah, gobblinging as well to not take too much damage. Mm -hmm. Well, um, what was I'm it about? Continue. Yeah, we, we can on talk. The game here. Yeah, we can talk about more about your 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 uh, play style and whatnot, or how you got back into the game uh, in between yeah, yeah. these these matches. Uh, yeah. I guess my last question on that though is, was it one thing that made you like rediscover your passion for the game that was waning, or was it just a combination of um, things? Well, a bit with that Rebel MEO because I felt like I could finally actually display my skill that I've been gathering up for all these years. Sure. And I felt like I could actually, um, it would actually pay off if I proved, proved myself. Yeah. Even though I actually like had a decent name for myself previously, uh, I wanted to show people, like, I'm, I'm, I'm in it to win it. You know, I'm not yeah. just here. I'm actually, I actually am pretty good at the game as well. I love that. And so I did, I did, I did compete in the, um, in the MEO, and I pretty much lost no games at all through the East. qualifiers to the um so i i just i've been practicing for about two three weeks um with a friend who won the south uh, african meo uh, jds mm -hmm. so and he hadn't been playing too much either so we kind of kind of like just <laughs> teaching each other a bit um yes. hadn't been playing for a while so and it just worked out and um and i i just like i fully focused on that that day i was just like zoned in so hard so cool. i think I've, i might have actually outcycled his um furnace here so i'm gonna go for a hog rider now he plays guards, and I know that he does. He's, they're not gonna. Yeah, I, I actually might get a couple swings here. He's gonna play Ewiz, so I can Dark Goblin here, and um, clean this see, up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bat because if I was to play Skarmy, you see he did that. So yeah, good call. Good would have been a. And so, again, showing the. I'm, I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna go for Hog Rider here. Hopefully, I was trying to distract the Furnace um, Fire Spirit there, but it's gonna end up getting some swings on the Furnace as well. He is playing Roll of Giant, so. I am expecting him to go in with that right now. I'm gonna try to get this Mega Knight down before the uh, Baby Dragon locks onto the tower, and then Bats to backstab it, pretty much. Nice. So that's not. It's he's gonna get some pretty solid hits here, but with this deck, you can you can get some pretty quick damage, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue eventually. Yeah, like I you talked that's about. Gonna, high risk, yeah, high I'm reward. Actually, yeah, go ahead. Exactly. Oh wait, I may made a minute. Maybe I may, made a mistake there because I thought the furnace was one tile lower, but yeah, that was a bit of a mistake. So if I want to, I, I probably, I think he's going to go for a baby dragon. 
and then he's gonna go for uh, rule of Rezai. giant. So I might yeah. be I might be in some trouble for sure. Maybe. But, Are you gonna freeze um, potentially here on on defense? Um, let's see. I'm gonna go for a mega knight at the bridge because okay. I was expecting him to barber a little bit aggressively there. Okay. And since he is using um, rule of giant. I don't yeah. want him to be able to just go for it at the bridge. And now he has to use all his elixir. And here, so. that's going to go down. And I think that the furnace is going to die. So I'm going to spam. He just used bar barrels. So let's just go other lane. Okay. And um, he's going to play furnace. I'm actually going to freeze this baby dragon. Like with a... I'm going to get a lot of damage there. And oh, also yeah. force him to respond. And now I'm not going to overcommit on defense on the left side. Because if I do, then I'm going to be pretty much... I'm going to go for Skarmy. And I'm going to go for a hog straight away. I might have lost there because uh, I didn't really. Yeah. Is he gonna, he's gonna squeeze in. Oh man. Oh, oh, that was so close. oh man, that was so close. <laughs> well, thankfully yeah. you were not no going into that match. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. There, there, there's no problem, but. I think. I that... mean, rule giant. I, I, I usually can beat it, but I think my misplay there was thinking that the furnace was one tile <laughs> lower and going for the hog there because I was expecting it to bypass, but I, I must have set uh, like seen it wrong. Yeah, it's okay. Go into the next match, and yeah, uh, sure. we'll, we'll forget that ever happened. <laughs> it's the nice thing <laughs> yeah, about being nine and zero too. So looking back at them, obviously that that hog play yeah, when exactly, the, the furnace exactly. was one up. Anything else that you could like maybe identify there? Uh, thinking back, or was it basically that one play that kind of? Yeah, on the start we were talking a bit, and I don't really think that <laughs> I, I leaked a bit of elixir because he he went furnace and e was for my hog rider. That was eight sure. elixir. So I could have probably gone left side just with a goblin gang, and if he didn't really have a response, it could have possibly like freezed his mega minion or something, just caught him off guard. Yeah, we just were kind of something because I kind of like let it go and I just let it slip pretty much, which was kind of unfortunate. Oh, it's all good. But, so um, yeah, we were, we were talking a little bit about you know your your player history and stuff like that at the beginning of the match. So let's yeah. talk like more about this deck, kind of. Uh, why don't you while you're, you're searching right now, right? Yeah, I'm still okay, searching. Cool. <laughs> Wait, why don't we compare maybe? Uh, this to traditional hog mega knight decks or like a mega knight princess deck without the the mega or excuse me the hog rider princess deck without the yeah. mega knight like oh, how i got a game i got okay. a game perfect We're okay cool game again. so <laughs> why don't you start since you're in the beginning of this match right now why don't you start talking a little bit about like early game strategy yeah sure so i have my hog in my starting hand i usually prefer um he's gonna go Ooh. for a real recruits in the back i'm just gonna hog rider sure um and i think he might just let it go he's gonna go for a hunter so he spent, he spent front, quite yeah. a bit of elixir here. Um, my my plan is to just go for a Mega Knight in the right lane. And mm -hmm. I'm going to let the Hunter lock onto the tower because just shooting the, the sure. Mega Knight isn't worth it uh, for me. So Perfect. let him get that uh, damage there. The real recruits can take out the Dark Goblin. That's not an issue for me. And I would be surprised. Let's I'm not going to go out. for a Goblin Gang here because I, I haven't identified a spell yet. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we're just going to let this Mega Knight go to this, um, to this um, pair of Rascals here. Let's see. Uh, I definitely don't want to give him too much. Okay, he's going to go for... Wow. This guy's playing incredibly... Like, I don't really know what he's trying to do. He has a really weird deck here with Rascals. He's playing it very differently as well. Or yeah. very interesting. Um, what is okay, I'm going yeah. to get ready with my freeze here because I could potentially... Okay, he's going to go with a fireball. We're just going to wait here and bat yeah. this as soon as it crosses the river. Your first so it's freeze play of the game. That. Yeah. yeah. So I think I might be freezing uh, maybe when I have bats behind my hog rider here because then the real recruits, if he was to play those, or the hunter, would get pretty quickly taken out, um, which could, it could first of all catch him off guard and also give me some pretty nice value with my uh, with my spam troops behind. Mm -hmm. I wonder what so his last two cards are. Here. Yeah. D oh, he actually he's already used six cards. I haven't even like noticed. <laughs> I'm going to freeze this princess okay. here, um, yeah. because, and I'm going to go ahead and goblin gang in front of my princess, keep my princess alive, and then I'm just, like, if he decides to log, then I still have the, um, the dark goblin alive, so that's going to take it, uh, take out the nice. princess, and also die itself, but hog should get two swings here, yeah, nice, and Beautiful. the princess is still alive. Yeah, so he still has to so, deal with this. I'm going to let go princess. of this dark goblin, yeah. he's just going to, like, split up his damage anyways, so it's not mm -hmm. too big of a deal for me, and then we can just go bats. And I'll go Princess in the back on the tower. Scar me here. And I feel like he's playing... I, I'm actually going to go for Goblin Gang, and then I'm going to go for Hog. Because if I just let him spam Recruits in the back all the time, I don't think it's going to benefit me too much. Okay. I might actually freeze here, just oh. for the Goblins. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Because the That's Princess it. doesn't kill it completely, and I think he was expecting to just get that for free. Ram Rider. And I, 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 I do have Mega Knight in hand, so I can just Mega Knight this, and then uh, I'm just going to let this... Princess lock on. I'm gonna scar me because that's gonna distract the dark goblin potentially as well. Yep. 
Um, and now I'm, I'm just going to let this Mag and I go for, or this uh, Miner go for now. Yeah. And we'll see what he does. Um, I do have freeze in hand, so there's like pretty much no way he breaks through at this point. That was nice too. Yeah. Notable, notable that your freeze this match was, uh, it wasn't even with the hog. I mean, it was the yeah, hog, but sure. the hog That's died. It was just the goblins. About too. It doesn't yeah. only have to be with the hog rider. Right? You could also um, do use it with other things. I do use it sometimes just like slow down some things on defense for him so that my maybe my dark all Lincoln uh, get some value. Oh, I actually got straight into a game again. Sweet. So. so talk a little bit about the princess in this deck. Obviously, are you... You know, you, you want to value princess. Yeah, I was sure. going to say like it's like a log bait deck. Um, okay, so you want to player as often as possible. General rules: player as often as possible and protect her as best you can. Um, yeah, player as often as possible. It depends because I feel like it like depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. um, I would definitely say that you want to value her a lot, especially against three musketeers decks. Uh, he's going to go ahead and do. Okay, that's interesting. It shouldn't fully counter it, so I'm going to go ahead and freeze the tower here just to make sure that this mag and I get some kind of value still. Okay. Um, maybe it was a bit of an aggressive freeze, and I'm guessing he's using Exit uh, Hog Rider here. So yep. this could be an interesting matchup. But let's see if he actually hogs here. That would be really bad for me because I don't really have a perfect. Oh, and he doesn't. Okay, thankfully. lucky. He did, he doesn't do it, so that's pretty good. Yeah, because you um, would have only had cards that could be countered by execution. Exactly. Execution <laughs> would just sweep my stuff if he did that. Yeah. So that was really lucky for me. Yeah. He has Musketeer as well. This guy's playing such an. And he goes hog at the. I don't really know what's going on here. Maybe I'm just like a bit behind with the meta, but I've never seen this deck before. Yeah, me neither. You with don't executioner see... and musketeer. Yeah, you don't see both of those really support hard. cards. Yeah. Now he's already used hog rider. I'll just go ahead and play a mega knight here. I'm. Mean, oh, actually, I was trying to play the. Maybe that's okay though, because if he has a spell, then the dark goblin would have given him value on the left side. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna let that go. Yep. And let's see. I think he he played. Um, what did he play last time? He played Skarmy. So I'm gonna go in with bats. That's just going to die to the Executioner, but he has Bowler as well. Okay. This is extremely interesting. Yeah, very weird I think deck. something that's going to be very very beneficial for me. Um, mm -hmm. I'm considering... I, I'm pretty sure he's using NATO with these two cards over it's here. It's got to be, yeah. Um, so so my, NATO, my thought and, here is yeah. to go for a Hog to distract this Executioner and not just... He should get a hit, but that's fine. He's going to NATO this to the King, um, but I still get a swing. He could have avoided that hit, uh, or the swing, I mean. So actually, I'm just gonna go for a Goblin Gang here, and he has Skarmy. Uh, if he, yeah, I'm gonna go. Oh, we actually mirrored that. Ooh. He mirrored the lot. Okay. <laughs> All right, what this is extreme. I never, I've never, absolutely never seen this before. So it's this is weird, gonna be though. extremely interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You gotta be always curious. So that mirror is such a sneaky card, right? Because I'm gonna like... go Hog here, and then I'm gonna freeze uh, before it uh, hits, so that it like. Oh. Okay, he's gonna NATO too. Oh wow, and then Skarmy. He's actually. <laughs> oh, that that was a nice lot. I feel like he's using. I don't really know what to say. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, skeleton army cool this because I don't yeah. expect him to have. Very interesting deck. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Mega Knight at the bridge here because I feel like my hogs aren't gonna get through, so we need to pressure him a bit here and try to make it work. Bowler's not gonna. Oh, it was. It was about to miss the Dark Goblin Dark there, Goblin. but it it ended up getting it anyways. Luckily yeah, the value him. he's getting from his Skarmy, his NATO, his Mirror, his Log. Yeah. It's just like it's hard to break through this deck. It's interesting. Absolutely, but he is spamming a lot too, so I feel like he should get punished eventually. Eventually. I'm gonna throw in a I'm gonna throw in a hog here and then I'm gonna wait because I'm expecting that yeah, he hasn't NATO. he has already used NATO, so we're gonna freeze here and get some hits. Oh yeah. This could be bad, um, definitely. But I'm gonna save the um A lot of splash coming. The Mega away. Knight. We got the Mega Knight um, yep. in the hand here. So I'm gonna go ahead and Mega Knight now. Oh. I'm gonna go bats at the, uh, for the musketeer. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna go hog rider. Because, yeah, there goes the NATO. Oh, that one and the bat, MVP that one bat. bat. Yeah. And I'm expecting the Skarmy. Come on. Oh, that was a misplay. Yeah. Oops. Oh, wait. Maybe. That activated Is he going to go for really Hogs right away? Is, is he going to pre-log here? That's the question. Nope. If he doesn't, then we're chilling. Oh, nice, nice, nice. He's saying good game. Yeah. He's saying good game. I don't know what he means by that, though, because it's certainly not over. I don't know. I mean, does he have, does yeah. he have Executioner in hand? That's the question. So here comes the bowler. <sighs> He's probably just gonna NATO this, so why should I freeze? Yep, good um, call. Good yeah, call. like he's just he's literally spamming every now you're single gonna, you time. You have Mega Knight back. You have freeze. Yeah, I'm hands. actually I'm gonna freeze this. Just chip away at this, and then he has mirrored log. He's though. gonna he's gonna log. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna surround this with Skarmy because I want to save my Mega Knight for that hog. Nice. For the pushback effect. And now he's kind of he's kind of letting go on the left side here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just hog right or that lane instead. I like it. And then I can Princess over here. I'm going to hold on so I can Mega Knight in case I have to over here. Yeah, I like this. So you're not putting Perfect. pressure. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, he messed up big time. I really don't know what his what his thought was behind that, but um. What the hog there? Yeah, because he he has yeah. to look. I can go hog here, and now Magnite is still alive, so I can stack up some log bait troops at the bridge. And see, he's gonna nato that to the king. Everything is just going on, and look at this. All right, I'm gonna play bats here, try to distract this executioner. Yep, he gives you the good nice. game. Executioner's down. Princess getting so many shots on that left tower. Two I'm not going to take risks, though, because he could yeah. possibly do something here that I wasn't expecting him to do. Yeah, the tricky thing so let's is... Go. I'm going to go in for the hog here. He's going to log that. I'm going to dark goblin at the bridge. See if I can... Nice. Lo Freeze over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, see yeah. See the dark goblin. And now uh, I just need to... Look, he's not going to expect this princess. There's no way. Yeah, that's GG. There it Big is. <laughs> Dude, you was, guys can was, tell. I've, <laughs> GG, first of all, you guys can tell that Gator Shot is a streamer because, man, you're great, man. I can just sit back and relax. You're doing the play-by-play. -play. It's beautiful. And you're oh, calling man. out every card that he has in hand. And, and uh, I yeah. love it, man. You're turning out to be a great guest. All right, let's try to seal the deal with the uh, 12th win here. That was definitely... I was not expecting to face something like that, for sure. I know, <laughs> man. Something... That was... Okay, we get... Yeah, Street right again. Another, another match. Let's focus I love here. it. Let's no see. editing. All right. So... Yeah, that was crazy. Um, how it just, it, but your play-by-play -play really illustrated for you guys just how good Gator Shot is at keeping track of everything that's going on in terms of his hand <laughs> and his opponents. You're like a mind reader, man. You can al you always yeah. know what he's trying to do. I like that. Yeah, and it does help to know what your like opponent might be playing if you want to switch lanes with Hog Rider as well. Yeah. So, so as starting you can see, here, he's not playing yeah. anything. I, I have bats in hand, so we might as well just um, cycle those in the back and see what he plays. <laughs> Do you gonna go always, for a real ghost. Yeah. Let's do go you, for princess here. Do you prefer like cycling bats in the back as opposed to playing like um uh, I like I like to play gang. princess or bats. Um, okay. I think he's playing bridge bam. So Yep. And I, I tend to have a pretty pretty good uh, matchup against um Bridge Bam. I usually have a like a pretty it's not too hard if that makes sense. Yeah. Maybe that dark goblin okay, luckily it, that actually yeah, it's not gonna be completely worthless. So he has barbell instead of zap, which is interesting. Could could be good in some cases. Yep. Not gonna the freeze here because then he's just gonna counter attack and get a ton of damage. Um, yeah, yeah. But as you may as you may have noticed, he had barbell and he just used it. So um, I'm expecting him I'm gonna freeze these quickly. Nice. And then I'm just gonna princess. Um, okay. Actually, I'm gonna wait and then I'm gonna go for Meganite. Also, have because he has it, no barbell. Yeah. Okay. You never know. He could he could still have zap. That's that true. Sense. That's true. So, it would be unfortunate for me to play a Skarmie and then he just zaps and takes my tower because I wasn't expecting to zap. But sure. I, I haven't seen all his spells yet, though. Yeah, I think um, he probably has, like, yeah, he probably, I think he's playing yeah. my deck. I, it's not my deck, but I think, I've, <laughs> I'm not sure if you've heard the big news, Gator Shot, but I've committed to playing only one deck all year. And oh, wow. It's this oh, deck. You, it's this I, deck, I but with Zap. I on that one with a bunch of P.E.K.K.A.s on the, on yeah, the thumbnail. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's this deck, yeah, but so. with Zap's so that poison version, but we'll see. All right, he has E was in hand. Yeah. So there's no point in me going hog bats or hog sparmy. I'm gonna switch lanes here, just to um, test them a bit, and then I'm gonna go for a dark goblin at the bridge, force out his bar barrel. I know he wants to play it, but maybe he's just holding on to it because he doesn't. I don't know. Oh, he actually Pekka's in the back. So I think my play here is gonna go for him. I'm actually gonna try to pressure him. I know that he has the bar barrel in hand. Yeah. But if he was, oh, he actually has zap too. Oh wow, you. you were right, man. Yeah. Look so I'm gonna that. go for Skarmy over here. Because uh, you just use zap, and then I'm gonna try to go. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna settle a bit here. I don't want to overcommit. Dude, we, you want to be able to defend this. You were so right there. You would have lost that tower had you Skarmy. Yeah, that's that's what's like. You don't really expect it, but they they yeah. people do tend to uh, use those kind of cards. So I'm actually gonna chill with this um, Mega Knight over here um, with this real ghost as well. He's just gonna poison, as you see. He's at, he's got poison as well. This real yeah, ghost tough. is doing a bunch of damage. He's doing a bunch of damage. Yeah. So I'm actually gonna go. Hog, and then I think he used. I'm gonna see if he zaps here. Let's try to squeeze in this freeze. Ooh. Oh, maybe we might have lost, uh. considering that the battle ram is gonna hit our tower here. But might. Oh, uh, no, uh, we don't. Oh, the zap! Oh, yes! you get it! No! Oh! Dude, give him the dab. gotta give you, him the dab. First oh, off, I gotta goodness. say, man, I don't know how you could call this an easy matchup because. Okay, had, it was not an easy matchup. He had I, Pekka, was, I was expecting the. He had Pekka E Wiz for your hog, and then he had yeah. Bar Barrel and Zap and Poison for your swarm. That was a tough matchup, bro. So I can say straight away, after seeing the Rule Ghost and the E Wiz, I was definitely 100% sure that he was playing Pekka, but I didn't know what Pekka he was using. And yeah. like, I, I see a lot of people using triple spells with Pekka now. 
because there's a lot of lava hound going around so it like can benefit you to kill pups and stuff i think that's mm -hmm. the reason too why a lot of people use it as well and also for decks like mine people like to use a lot of spells because <laughs> there's obviously a lot of spell bait in this deck yeah dude and um yeah that was that was really tough because he had the bar girl first of all and then he had the zap and the poison and as soon as he plays poison my only answer to his cards can be either the princess outside of the range of the poison or the mega knight so i'm kind of if I don't have Mega Knight in hand, that's what I told you in the start there. If he would have zap zapped my Skarmie, I would have lost my tower because I wouldn't have oh, yeah. had Game enough over. Elixir to play yeah. my uh, Mega Knight. And I really don't understand how I didn't lose my tower um, um, before I, um, I took his, but <laughs> yeah, it did dude. End up well, pretty hey, good. The Clash Gods were smiling upon you, uh, Gator <laughs> Shot. But, dude, well done. And I think you did a great job kind of just through those those matches, explaining the deck and stuff. Uh, any final yeah, thoughts thanks, or thanks. shout outs or anything before we let you go? Any shout outs? Um, not really. Just shout out to my followers on Twitch, people who support me, nice, and all my man. friends, of course. And also you for having me on. I really appreciate it. It was a it was a blast, man. No problem, <laughs> man. The pleasure was all mine. And to all my viewers right now, make sure you go check out Gator Shot's Twitch channel and his uh, his Twitter. Everything that you need to get in touch with him will be in the bio. Make sure you check out his stream. Say you saw him on the CWA video or whatever. And uh, I guess that's going to do it. Gator Shot, thanks again, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Check out Gator Shot's player stats and profile along with the information that I mentioned before in the show notes below. Huge shout out to Bren Chong, my YouTube partner. Check out his information as well. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care, guys.